Home to me is a lot of noise and people and food and laughter. Somewhere you can shut all the blinds and feel really cozy. Somewhere that you can celebrate life with your friends. I'm Olivia Munn, and this is my house. My family is definitely not the perfect magazine cover family at all. We're very blunt and sarcastic. We tell each other what we think. We joke around a lot. At my house, there's a lot of screaming going on, and my mom just goes, we're not screaming, it's how we talk. I mean, that's my mom. She's gonna be her no matter where you are, and I think that's what's made us so close. My mom was born and raised in Vietnam. And in 1975, in the final days of Saigon, my family was lucky enough to escape and make their way to Oklahoma. My mother and all of her uniqueness has definitely shaped who I am today. I think the thing that I learned the most from my mother is how to be strong, how to stand up for myself and how to stand up for the people that I love. So looking back now, I just think, like, thank God my mom always instilled this feeling of self-worth in me and that I knew that my dreams mattered even if they were close to impossible. Without that, I never would have tried it in Hollywood. The things that my mom and I have really bonded over is cooking. She'll say like, oh, it's like mm, this much salt and like, um, like this much flour and like this much pepper. And you're like, what is this much? So I literally have like sheets of paper with her recipes on it with like a picture of a hand and like when like this much, <laughs> like it'd be like this much pepper. And I'll have to remember what that looked like in her tiny Asian hands. Like those memories of learning how to cook with her and um, how obnoxious she was at her measurements. Like, those are the memories that I really love with my mother. My mom thinks that cooking is the most important thing, has everybody at the house for every holiday. There's just always this open door policy for dinner. I wanna give this renovation to my mother because if there's anybody in the world that I think deserves it, it's her. She lives in this house. That means so much to all of us. That's basically where we kind of grew up. The dining room, TV room, and kitchen, it's all one room. She's making it work, but it's just not optimal. She's really short, so she can't reach the high shelves, and there's not enough storage for all the pots and pans that she needs. Right now, they have this great island, but no one really sits at it. And then the dining room area, it's small, and they have to eat in shifts. It's next to this fireplace that they never use. Things just kind of end up there, and it just becomes a catch-all. So I want to try to turn this whole space into a place where everybody can come and hang out. I live in LA, but my mother lives in Oklahoma City. So I went on to house and I looked for designers and contractors in the Oklahoma City area. I found Travis's profile and he had a lot of really great reviews and I loved his whole portfolio. So I just gave him a call. So great I to know, meet you. So nice to meet you in life. person. I know we've been on the phone so much. This is so exciting. It's exciting for me too. So tell me a little bit about what your vision is for what you'd like to do for your mom. My mom's yeah. ridiculously short. <laughs> like she's a hobbit, <laughs> and a hobbit that cooks. She's a hobbit that loves to cook. So functionality is super important because I'm really wanting to just uh, give her somewhere that she can just cook as much as she loves to cook and make it really easy for her. I think we could make it work for her. Okay, awesome. Tell me a little bit about your mom's style. As long as it's comfortable and working, she's not very particular. And that's what I think would be so great is to do things that help keep things looking organized and clean, but that are still really easy to access. So even though there's three living spaces in this one room, it is pretty small. Is there anything that we can do to just make it feel more open? So one of the things that we can do is to raise the ceiling. I think that that eight foot ceiling height is making that whole space feel a little eight, bit closed it's in. Feet? It's eight foot. Maybe utilizing some of the attic space that is right above there. We have an attic? Uh, well, not for long. By giving it volume and allowing your eye to look up, we can really make the space feel huge. So on our idea book, I've actually selected different looks. Idea books are great because as I'm on house and I'm finding different things that inspire me or, or elements that I like, I can add it to the idea book and Travis is doing the same thing. These are similar spaces to yours and they have cathedral ceilings. Mm. What would you say about something like that? I think it just might be maybe a little too modern. Yeah, I understand. This is a little bit of a different direction. It's a little bit more rustic. We've got that warmth and visual element to bring your eye right. up, but it also keeps it clean and open. That I love. Okay, so one thing that I noticed, she is in major need of more storage. She Perfect. needs like massive containers to hold rice and pasta. We can make sure that she's prepared to uh, cook for the whole neighborhood. Awesome. There is this TV room that's right next to the kitchen, and there is this one kind of dead space. 
I just don't know what you think that maybe. I think it would be a really good opportunity to have a walk-in pantry. That's a great idea because there's like the really organized, clean Asians, and then there's like the messy ones and loud ones. That's my family. <laughs> so that would just help keep things organized and clean, right? Yeah. I notice how many appliances there are on the countertops, and it would be great if we could get those out of sight, but still really usable. So this well, is one idea. Well, that's a really cool thing. But so they could be plugged in there. Yes, so they well, can stay nice. back there. They're plugged in. They're easily accessible. Whenever this is down, they're out of sight. Yay! I love this. Right now we have this big rice cooker that sits on top of the counter. So if we can find a way of doing the rice cooker built in, is that easy to do? It's a little bit of a challenge, but we're totally up for a challenge. So awesome. I love that idea, and I think that could okay, be really yeah, exciting. Yeah. I love that. She's going to love that. So one of the things that um, I wanted to show you was some incredible different light features mm -hmm. that I think would make a statement above the island. I love that. And I love that they would be at different heights. Yeah. So before we move on, I should tell you that there is a dining room table that is a family heirloom of my stepfather's. and that's really important to keep in the house. Okay, so normally we would try to embellish the fireplace and make that a focal point. Mm -hmm. Based on the location that it is in the space, and unfortunately, because it's been capped off, it doesn't really work, it's not functional, I think that it's just visual weight that we don't need. I think we should take it and reclaim that space for something interesting and different and a focal point for the dining room. I mean, that's a great idea because like nobody's yeah. sitting with the fire behind their back, even if it works, which it doesn't work. Yeah. One of the things that I noticed whenever I visited the house, there are a lot of really cool accessories, <laughs> ancient artifacts, whatever you want to call them, but I think it would be really neat to incorporate a bookcase but that way they don't end up just scattered everywhere. How are you going to stop my mom from cluttering it up? Are you going to be coming over? Okay, I'm going to have are to do inspections. Are you going to take this on for life? <laughs> I want to go over some potential seating options for the living room. I love this for the space because it does have those clean lines, but it's comfortable. I think it would stand up really well to a lot of family members. I love it in a gray, too. So what do you think about a piece like that? I think it looks interesting and unique. I like it, but just not for them yet. Let's look at one more option. I love this. Visual match tool actually gives you a lot of different potential matches. It looks like it can take a lot of, you know, like people putting drinks on it and stuff like that. I would want to get that now. Okay. Add to cart. We're going to buy it. There you go. I should tell you the, um, the person who's helping me with the surprise is going to be my stepfather, Sam. This is a very, very, very important renovation for me and my family because um, if my mom isn't cooking for all of us, we'll all go hungry. Don't worry, you will not go hungry with me. Okay, I appreciate that. Got it. Thank you so much, I'm so excited. Thank you. Today, Travis and Sam are meeting up to walk through the space and go over the renovation plans. Travis. Hi, Sam. Come on in here. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. I'm so excited to get started on this. Well, welcome. I have the most difficult job here, trying to keep both Olivia and Miss Kim happy. Tell me a little bit about the spaces you guys currently use it. The countertops are a little bit tall for my wife. Okay. She's about this tall. <laughs> Everything was built at a standard height. They make a cabinet lift system where all of the shelves in the cabinet actually come down to countertop level where you can use that storage, push it back up, and it's out of sight, out of mind. Wow. So obviously this island size isn't working for you guys right now. This ends up being about six chairs. If we could get a new larger island to seat six, do you think that that would work maybe all in one level? Absolutely. Okay. Are there any other things about the kitchen that just aren't working? I think it's dark. Because of the eight-foot ceiling height, it's really keeping us from that light, open feeling. So what we'll do is give you an extra three, four feet of height. I think that's a great idea. Let's take a look at the living room. How do you currently use this space? Right now, if you're over there, you're watching people watch TV. <laughs> it could be more face-to-face. -face. Makes perfect sense. I think opening this up will just make the space feel bigger. I like it. I'm super excited about this whole project. I can't wait to see it. I think that this is going to be an incredible transformation. And if Kim doesn't like it, she's going to blame you. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Today is demo day, but I can't be there, so I am leaving everything up to Sam and Travis. 
Looks like you're a professional. Okay, you ready? I was thinking that it'd be really interesting to see some ceiling come down. Interesting is a good word. Messy is uh, the better one, but I say we tear into it. Oh, <laughs> that's what I wanted to see. There you go. Okay, I think we need to leave some for my guys. It's been three weeks since renovations have started on my mom's house. And right now, Sam is going to meet up with Travis to see how it's all going on. Hi, Travis. How you doing? Hey, great oh, to wow. see you. This is something. Yeah, so this kind of gives you a, a full view of what that new ceiling height is going to be. I love it. Yeah, major improvement. This is gonna be a much, much bigger and better kitchen for Kim. How exciting. Since we removed the carpet, we're gonna put new flooring in this entire great room, but I think we're gonna need an awesome rug. I wanna show you this one that I found on House. With the View in My Room 3D tool in the House app, you can preview an item before we buy it to see if it really fits in the room and looks great. So you can place the rug here and turn it so it's in the right spot. Wow. I really like that. Awesome, let's buy it. All we do is we press list, add to cart. Okay, and it's on its way. Wow. I think we should call. Hi, Olivia. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you, Travis? Great. This is the new area that was your kitchen. Now we're ready to start fresh. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Can I see the pantry area? Yeah, of course. This right here is your new walk-in pantry area. That's really big. Yeah, I doubt that it'll take him long to fill it, but um, we got plenty of space for it now. That's awesome. And this is the new spot for the refrigerator. My mom cooks so much, there's always so many leftovers, and if you open up our fridge at any moment, there will be 17 old butter containers filled with like Vietnamese <laughs> old. Surprises. <laughs> with surprises. <laughs> So we're gonna get the biggest one we can possibly find. And actually over here, this is all of your new living room space. Oh, wow. This is the TV space there. It's right in the middle of that pantry wall. And so then the, all the furniture will be facing that direction. Yes, the sectional kind of makes an L this way. Oh, that's nice. Is there the wood floor on the ground I can see? Yeah, all of it is a wood look tile. So you get the warmth of wood, but you actually still have the durability of the porcelain tile. Yeah, we want to do real wood, but my family, they're animals and they don't know how to wipe their feet. <laughs> <laughs> and then this right here is the new fireplace. Oh, wow. So we've taken out the hearth and the surround and actually gained quite a few inches. I was really hoping for you to consider maybe a wallpaper as an accent there or a cool paint color. I don't know how I feel when people just do like that one wall. You know what I think would be great is do like some kind of built-in there, like a built-in shelf for all my mom's knickknacks and tchotchkes. That way we would actually regain the depth that we have to build out around that fireplace. Sam, do you love that? I love it. We've got a lot of uh, work to get done. Yeah, thank you so much for all the hard work. It looks amazing, you guys. I'm so excited to see it in person. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Thank okay. you. Bye. 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 Ideas that Olivia has had have been awesome. And so we're really going to create something special for Kim. I'm back in Oklahoma today. Right now, I'm on my way to go meet up with Sam and Travis to do the finishing touches, so everything is exactly perfect for her. Perfect. Just like that? Yeah. Hello? 
Hey. Oh my God. What do you think? This, this looks unreal. Oh my God. <laughs> Walking in and seeing how amazing everything looked, I mean, it doesn't look anything like the way the house used to be. And it's just so crazy that it came together so perfectly. Sam, what do you think? I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You think your mom will like it? I think she's gonna be floored. I, I, <laughs> I mean, Sam, you're tearing up. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Aw. We're not done yet. There's still a ton to put together. Let me help you. Okay. Yes, this right here for now. Okay. Travis, is this the coffee table that we saw in house? Yes, isn't it beautiful it in real life? It is amazing. It literally looks exactly how it looked online, which is really exciting. Beautiful. Yeah, it's perfect. And it's so durable, right? Yes. I thought this was really cool, a little pop of white. Elephants are good luck. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. I grew up looking at these needle points that my mom oh. would do. We had them reframed. It's a pop of color. It's a little gallery feeling, so it's really her art. This is the fanciest her art has ever looked. Let me get this. That looks great. This is so pretty, Travis. Got some great color. OK, I think we're done. Yeah. Sam, can you do me a favor? Can you go get mom for me? OK. I'm hey. so excited. Good luck. All right. I am a little nervous because with my mom, you can never predict what she's gonna say. <laughs> but we added a lot of things that were her own personal touches that I think she's really gonna love. Hi. Okay, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Hold on. Okay. Ah! Hi, are you excited? Yes, I am. I have a big, big surprise for you. There's nobody else I know that works as hard as you do. And this is my gift to you, and I hope that you love it. Thank you so much. Well, just so you know, that's the first time you've ever thanked me for anything. I'll be, hold on, okay. <laughs> so wait, ready? Are yeah. you ready? Okay. So beautiful, oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Different than before. Doesn't it feel big and open? Yes. Look how high the ceilings are. Remember oh. how low they were before? Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. He hugged. <laughs> oh, you hit hard when you hug. Okay. Big hug. I know, you're a big hug. Oh, so beautiful. Do you see those? Those oh. lights? How pretty are those? No, I love them. You do? Travis, yes. I picked that out on house. I okay. love this table. Do you? I like the elephant, too. I know. You want to sit on the couch? Yeah. <gasps> Oh, it's a good cushion. <laughs> oh, this rug. I know, isn't it nice? It's a beautiful rug. It looks like, kind of like mine in California, remember? Yeah, when I always want one like that. I love them. Oh, I did love over there. I know, did you see? We took out the fireplace, and you have so much stuff. And I wanted to display some of it. Now, oh, I love like, glass shell. Without... I love so much. It's beautiful. I like floor. I know, isn't that pretty? They look like wood, but they're not. Look at the chairs. Travis and I took these out on house. Do you oh, like them? I love them. This is the kitchen, right? Yes. And um, it's really, really special to me because I wanted it to work for you. So all the functionality is custom made to fit your tiny height, but also it's all commercial grade. I love I my height. Yeah, it's all your height. I don't have a tiptoe. No. Wait, mom, how tall are you? 5'2". Ish. 5'1 now. You keep shrinking. <laughs> so it's always been hard for you to reach the cabinets. These are specially made for you. So you get to use way up there and not have to worry about it. And then pull it down and it'll go all the way down. And it makes oh, up. wow, I don't care to climb in a or stand on a stool. And it goes up. I cannot believe Isn't it. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I put a rice cooker into your counter. You know, you always have- That's a rice cooker? Yeah. Oh, what? And you can steam other things in here. It's not just rice cooker, but- Oh, man, I didn't know that rice Isn't cooker. That cool? So now you can have this whole thing of just rice all the time. More. Here, open can that open door. It? Yeah. We decided to give you a full walk-in pantry. Oh, man. Oh, that's beautiful. I know, I isn't mean. it? I, I like it all. That's how I like it, a walk-in pantry. I know. Oh, man, that's you, good. I can keep everything in here. Yeah, and you can live here. We can I put can a bed in here. here for you. I can put a You can live here forever. Here. Oh, I love the pantry. I'm very happy, and I cannot wait to cook, and I want to invite a lot, lot of people to come by to see my new house. I the... never think white before, but now I love it. I know, it's so pretty. Well, white with the wood makes it really warm. There's actually somebody I, I want you to meet who helped me out a lot with this. Oh. Hey, guys. Sam. It's beautiful. 
Mom, this is Travis. He is the interior Hi. designer. Hey, Good to nice meet you. To meet you. Oh my he made this whole thing happen for you. And you should say thank, thank you to Sam, too, because he worked really hard. He did? He worked really hard. Give oh, him a hug, too. Thank you. <laughs> I'm deeply appreciative to Olivia for doing this for her mother and for me. How did you like to work with my husband, Sam? He was great and tore up the ceiling, so. He is show off. <laughs> He's a show off. Hi, Betty. Hi, Hi. Baby. Hi. Hi guys. I'm so excited. Ah! Angie, I didn't know you were coming. <laughs> Betty, to your table. Yeah. You have a lot of dolls for a grown woman, yes. just so you know. But it's yes. nice because you don't have to have like all the mess right there. Sam's the mess. Fire. Yeah, it's your mess too. You can't blame Sam for everything. You're pretty messy yourself. <laughs> Come and see this one. At her height, oh, so yeah. she's right. Uh, and it's already plugged in. Nice. It's my size. Yeah. I like it a lot. Oh. Built in rice cooker? Yeah, yeah. And the steam too. Best. You know, I'm very, very graceful. And I know she, she loves me a lot. We made a walk in pantry. Oh, yes. It's a walk-in. Yeah, and same with the boots. All right, Kai, keep, yeah, keep going in. Yeah, keep going in. Keep going in. All right. Everything the whole family, the whole Asian family fits in here. There's a guest room. Yeah. The guest room. I'm just ecstatic that it all came together exactly how we had talked about it. Thanks for letting us come in and, and completely redo your place. We hope you guys love it. Thank you so much. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Thank you. Everything is at her height. She's not going to have to get on a step stool. Everything has a place. I think it's obviously going to make her life so much better, and I'm really excited that she loves it so much. Now you have to start cooking for us. Yes. I'm cooking. retired. Oh, no. Now you're retired? <laughs> <laughs> she just look at it. <laughs>